हेलो बच्चों सो वेलकम बैक टू फार्मा फ्राइडे एंड आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित एंड टुडे द ड्रग ऑफ द डे इज अ वेरी फेमस ड्रग दैट इज थैलीडोमाइड सो थैलीडोमाइड हैज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग हिस्ट्री इट वॉज डेवलप्ड फॉर सम डिफरेंट कंडीशन एंड लेटर ऑन नाउ डेज इट इज यूज इन सम अदर कंडीशन सो फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द बैड हिस्ट्री ऑफ थैलीडोमाइड so if you talk about history thalidomide was developed as a sedative drug and it was used for the treatment of insomnia plus thalidomide had anti emetic effect isse vomiting kam hoti thi that is why it was approved for morning sickness morning sickness means the vomiting which occurs in first trimester of pregnancy now at that time around 1960 There were no clinical trial done on pregnant female. तो हमने इसको morning sickness के लिए तो approve कर दिया था but उस समय clinical trials नहीं किए थे pregnant females में and doctors they started prescribing this thalidomide in pregnant female for the treatment of morning sickness as an anti-emetic drug. Now in one year of its use. it leads to more than 10000 cases of birth defects in fetus and the fetuses which were born later on they were having very short limbs unke haath pair bahut hi chote ho jate the that is known as hocomelia so thalidomide it was known as thalidomide disaster एक साल में मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड प्रेगनेंट फीमेल्स दे डिलीवर्ड बेबी विद फोकोमीडिया सो इट गॉट अ वेरी बैड नेम थैलीडोमाइड का बहुत बैड नेम हो गया था नाउ थैलीडोमाइड अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट इज दैट थैलीडोमाइड हैज टू एनेशियोमर्स वन इज आर फॉर्म ऑफ थैलीडोमाइड विच इज सिडेटिव बट द एस एनेशियोमर ऑफ थैलीडोमाइड इज टेरेटोजेनिक विच कॉजेस फोकोमीडिया so my question is can we use our form of thalidomide in pregnancy the answer is no even our form of thalidomide is not used in pregnancy because inside the body r can be converted into s form spontaneously apne aap r s me convert ho jata hai s r me convert ho jata hai This property of thalidomide is known as thalidomide disaster. Thalidomide disaster, जो हुआ था, this property is known as enantiomeric conversion. Because of this property of enantiomeric conversion, remember both R and S enantiomers of thalidomide are absolutely contraindicated in pregnancy. So now let's see what is the mechanism of action of thalidomide. Thalidomide has variety of action at today at present time thalidomide is used as an immunomodulator drug it reduces immunity it is used as an anti cancer drug it is also has anti inflammatory property and lastly it inhibits angiogenesis that is formation of new blood vessels now the question which is asked is how thalidomide produces immunomodulatory effect so remember it reduces immunity by suppressing production of tnf alpha and how thalidomide inhibit angiogenesis it inhibits the production of one protein vegf which stands for vascular endothelial growth factor this vegf is responsible for formation of new blood vessels by suppressing the egf production it inhibits angiogenesis and remember angiogenesis is a hallmark of cancer har cancer ka cell apne liye nayi blood vessel banata hai taki wo grow kar paye hence it is one of the additional anti cancer property of thalidomide so keeping these actions in our mind let's write what are the uses of thalidomide so the first use of thalidomide is as it is immunosuppressive drug it is used in type 2 lepra reaction 
In type 2 lepra reaction, immunity becomes stimulated, which leads to formation of new new skin lesions, which is seen in leprosy. Now we have new forms of thalidomide, new congeners of thalidomide, which also ends with the word domide. So a new drug is pomalidomide and linalidomide. Together with thalidomide, pomalidomide and linalidomide, these three drugs are used for the treatment of oral ulcers in HIV to reduce by reducing immunity, they will reduce oral ulcer plus these three drugs are used in cancers like multiple myeloma and myelodysplastic syndrome. So these are the four main uses of thalidomide. Now, what are the adverse effects? Despite phocomelia, thalidomide also has very many, very much dangerous side effects. The first dangerous side effect of thalidomide is it leads to blockage of blood vessel by producing thrombus and if thrombus is produced in coronary artery it will lead to mi myocardial infarction if it forms in cerebral artery it will lead to stroke it may lead to death of a patient the second most dangerous toxicity of thalidomide is it causes irreversible peripheral sensory neuropathy so the sensory nerves are permanently damaged which will lead to malformation of limbs and this is considered to be the most dangerous adverse effect of thalidomide and other side effects are gynecomastia because thalidomide blocks androgen or testosterone receptor and lastly thalidomide reduces GIT motility hence it can lead to constipation. So this is all you need to know about thalidomide, a very famous drug with a very bad name. So till then, keep me learning.